hey guys what's up this is Kamran here with another video and today I'm gonna show you some of the settings some of the tweaks in the settings which might improve your gameplay so let's get started first of all if you notice that whenever you disable the enable frame limit and the game becomes unplayable like it becomes so fast uh, like it goes to 100 fps and you are not able to play the game then in that case you have to keep this on only and then you have to sim it means that your system can perform much better than it what at uh, at what it is performing as of now so in that case you have to go and you have to increase the normal speed to 120 or 130 or 140 which are best suits your game at, w at which your speed you are comfortable to play the game in graphics especially for cricket game you have to keep uh, the GPU at OpenGL and upscaling at 1 or 2 native resolution for me most of my games work well with 2x native and in case the games are really uh, in case your phone is really struggling to run the games then the best option would be to go with the software in this the game would not look so good but definitely it will be playable it would be playable okay and in case otherwise if you disable the speed run as possible if you disable this option then the general settings which are there which won't be affected by making any changes in these settings are that especially for cricket games you have to keep the normal speed to 100 which I'll do right now and this should be turned on maximum underclock should be 3 and the speed should be 16 graphics should be open GL or software in some cases and the resolution should be 2x the audio can be either async miss, mix or time stretch for me most of the time async mix runs really well and rest of the settings you have to keep as it is over here there are some settings which you can try your luck with you can enable these settings and disable and especially these graphics rendering settings and this might uh, be helpful in case you have a low end android device so i hope this uh, tutorial video was helpful for you guys because a lot of guys have been asking me for the best settings for their particular android device so hopefully this video has helped you guys and if not please let me know in comment section how well your games performed after using these settings so thanks for watching guys and if you like the video please don't forget to like share and subscribe and please always at least like those videos because the more you like the more it will be available in the search i mean like whenever you search the more times that video will come in pop up so thanks for watching the videos and stay stay healthy bye bye